NFT games are kind of a big deal and NFT games on mobile, even a bigger deal. Now, who doesn't want to earn some type of money, some type of currency from playing a game? It's the future of gaming, something that is starting out fresh right now. So today I decided to bring you guys 10 of some of the most played NFT cryptocurrency games on mobile devices. First on today's list is Cryptornado, which is an action RPG style game. Many of the games we're looking at today are in this vertical format, but the difference between this and another action RPG game is this one has you earning NFT blockchain currencies that actually have real life value, things that you can make money from just from grinding through the game, even if you are a free to play player. Not every game on today's list is an action RPG game styled like this one, which makes this one super special. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, all of those can be found inside of bot wars, or at least things that hold that type of value. As you can see, another vertical style game right here that can earn you those cryptocurrencies. In this one, it's about robots and it's about wars and it's about being victorious so that you can earn those rewards which can give you those values and that can make you have those, those valuable NFTs, non-fungible tokens that you can make money while you game. If you like gotcha style games, RPG style games, maybe this one will be for you. This is Binamon, a NFT egg hatching modification, building up your different character style game, where you're gonna be hatching out these different collectibles and then you are going to be enhancing them, having them earn more and more value. The more rare of a token that you find, the more valuable that token is going to be, and by token I mean the actual NFT characters that you're seeing popping up on the screen right now. So this tanker, for example, may be more valuable than one that we saw before, one that you may want to spend more time, invest more time into upgrading, increasing the value, in that case it would be actually the fusion that you see happening right here. When you fuse these things together, they're going to become stronger, different, and maybe hold more value. Do you remember Farmville? Well, welcome to Crop Bites. And this, I believe, is actually made from the makers of Farmville, where you are going to be managing your farm, growing crops, handling the herd, and investing. Now, what you're gonna be getting here are valuable NFTs from just playing this farm simulator game. A lot of the things done here can be done from just a click of a button. It's not as you if you even need to spend a ton of time paying attention to what's going on in the game. Now, is that a good thing or a bad thing? I guess it depends on the type of gamer that you are and what you're trying to get out of this gaming experience. But Farmville was an extremely popular game. And I believe this one will be as well, being that it's a very similar mechanic, but you can earn real life currency. Crypto Pop. Now, this one is fairly simple. It's a puzzle style game where you're matching up different symbols and along the way you can earn different Bitcoin currencies or other NFT style currencies that you can find on the web in games like these right now. A very simple game, one that's kind of just a brain teaser before you go to bed. The more you play it, the more you'll earn, the more you'll earn, the happier you'll be. It's possible. Well, doesn't this look similar to the one we just saw? This is Crypto Word. Very similar sound effects that come from it, probably from the same developer and a very similar style of game, except for here, you are composing words. Words with friends, but not. This one earns you money, which could be cool, although it's not actually money because it's digital currency. I like this one. You may as well. Do you like dragons? Do you like to spin wheels? Do you like to merge dragons to make better dragons? If you do, you may like this game called Crypto Dragon. Pretty interesting how the name is so 
online with what you're actually going to be doing right here. Obviously, you can receive rewards for daily things that are in the form of the blockchain currency that is affiliated with this game. Many of these games are associated with different blockchain currencies. This one is one of the many from the video that we're seeing here today. Pretty simple game, again, in that vertical format, and it includes dragons, which maybe you like better than words or symbols. And welcome to Splinterlands, possibly one of the most popular NFT mobile games out right now, where you're gonna be actually collecting cards, utilizing those cards as you would do in a game such as Hearthstone, except for each of these cards is an actual NFT of its own, which can help you win cryptocurrencies and earn those values. The more limited these NFTs, the more valuable they are and the more they can sell for on the market. So is Splinterlands gonna be a game that you try out? It was on my phone, I'm not gonna lie. Welcome to Skyweaver, one of the newest still in beta NFT games out right now. I was lucky enough to be able to catch this game being streamed and it was really well done. I was really impressed with the design mechanic and the card play style that we know from many other card style games. Hearthstone probably being one of the best examples. Now here being supported by the blockchain, all of the cards that you unlock and upgrade are gonna hold that cryptocurrency value. Some of them having very little and some of them having more and more, especially as you upgrade them through time them being actual NFTs, non-fungible tokens. This is a great way for you to play games and make currencies at the same time. All while playing a game that has some actual potential as a game. And then we have War of Ants, which is a war between ants that gives you cryptocurrencies. Honestly, there's not much more to say on this one. So just watch for a second and see if it's for you. Doesn't this look intriguing? Now you guys know I played Rise of Kingdoms on this channel quite a bit. Well, this is League of Kingdoms where your territories, your people, and the things you build actually hold value on the blockchain. So for me, this means this is like Rise of Kingdoms, but actually better, because instead of spending a ton of money, you could actually earn some currencies while you play. Now, those are all of the games from today's list, but there are a bunch of other games that are coming not only to mobile, but also to PC, or PC and mobile. The one that you're looking at right now is a bonus title for this video here today. And this one is called Alluvium, which is one of what I feel to be the most anticipated NFT games ever on mobile and on PC. At least I believe it's supposed to be on mobile. Stay tuned for more information as I receive it from this game because it does look incredible. It's not only just an NFT game where you hatch things and upgrade them. This is an actual action RPG where you're living in a massive world. And I mean, let's look at the art here, guys. This has massive potential. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Know that all of the links for all of these games are in the description of this video. And if you have any suggestions of other games that you'd like me to check out in an upcoming video, leave those suggestions down below. Make sure you subscribe and ring the bell for future videos on the channel about NFT games, mobile games, or other things. Have a great day, guys, and be good.